Hey, welcome back YouTube, it's Men Kid here. And this episode is just gonna be about my RODI unit and what you could utilize it for. So the date is the 25th of September here in um, Florida. We're about to get hit with a hurricane. And of course, all the people are in a panic and they bought all the water in the stores. You can't buy a bottle of water anywhere. You can buy little bottles, but you can't buy gallons of water because people are in a full-blown panic and they're hoarding water. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you uh, what you could do with your RODI unit in order to make your own water so you never have to buy water again. So deionized de water or distilled water is not really healthy to drink because it's lacking minerals and it says it depletes your body of these minerals when you drink water. So RO water on the other hand is very drinkable and it's also delicious. So I'm gonna show you how you could hook up your RODI unit to make drink, drinkable potable water for yourself. So you don't have to buy water if you're ever in a situation like we are where we're about to get hit with a hurricane and water is hard to come by. So what you see here is just a standard water dispenser. Get it at Home Depot, this one was like 150 bucks. This is a top fed water dispenser. As you see, this one is empty. I'm making water now and I'm filling it up, okay? So the line, I tapped into the jug back here, as you see, and the line and I zip tied nice and neat down, ran behind the tank so it's nice and clean. To another switch, if you guys watched the last video, um, I do a whole video on setting up this switch system for my RODI unit, which has all separate lines. One is for fresh, one is for salt. This is the flush line, which I run first to make sure my water is at zero TDS, which it is. And I just added another line. This line is the RO water line, which is what your drinking water is going to be. So right now the epoxy is drying. Once the epoxy is dry, I'm going to mount it right to the wall vertically right there. So my wife and my father-in-law have no confusion. They know exactly which switch to flip if they need to make water if I'm not here. But uh, that's besides the point. I just wanted to show you the setup on the RO, on the RODI unit. So on the RODI unit, here it is mounted underneath my sink. I ran through this when I showed you how I mounted it. But here you have the waistline. This tied directly to the P-trap at my sink so I don't have to run any hoses anywhere. Uh, this is the water in, and the water out is behind the DI resin filter in the back. And that's what taps into all my lines up top, which um, branch off to the switchboard on my wall. But to tell you how this works, with how you can have drinkable water, is every one of these units, at least they should have a switch above their uh, reverse osmosis membrane, which is this membrane up top over here. My switch was mounted up top. Right over here, here is the T. And there's this on-off switch, which is now on a switchboard. I ran it to the switchboard on the other side of this wall. But when this switch is off, it forces the water to go through the deionization processes, which is what we make our water for our tanks with. Now, a lot of people that are new to the hobby don't know this, but that switch up top, when you switch it on, what it does is it makes water and it bypasses the deionization process. And that is specifically there to make drinking water. So, like I said, the reason why I, I did this now is because we're about to get a hurricane in Florida and people in a full-blown panic, they bought all the water. So why buy water if you could just make your own? That's one of the benefits of this hobby. We make water all the time, so why not make drinking water? So this video, I want to explain the process. This is how I set it up where it's nice and clean. So you never have to buy water jugs either. I bought, I actually grabbed an empty jug, washed it out, cleaned it, and then mounted it. And uh, I have no intention of ever changing this jug. When it empties, I just fill it back up with fresh RO water. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Talking soon. Take care.